want to pay my respects to a champion that was tragically shot down, Mancho Camancho. In my book, once you're a champion, you always a champion. The guy was a good fighter. Um, well, I remember watching him as a child or as a kid. Um, you know, I remember my father couldn't he couldn't stand the guy because he was so flashy and arrogant. You know, but we you know he was the first of his kind because it um, seemed like almost every fighter is flashy and arrogant nowadays. But this guy was um, a good fighter. He was one of the, one of those fighters that could have really been bigger than what he was. He was shot down tragically. Um, a, a big, great loss. The guy was only 50 years old. And I can only imagine um, what his family has gone through. They took him off life support. But, um, you know, he will be remembered. Um, he will um, be missed. I'm sure, especially by his family. Okay, on to the fight. Andre Berto versus Robert Guerrero. You know, I know that that Robert, I mean, excuse me, that Andre Berto was going to be a little slow. Anytime you have a layoff, a layoff as long as um, Andre Berto with um, a suspension from because of um, performance enhancing drugs, and because of a arm uh, muscle tear, I believe in his shoulder, you're gonna be pretty rusty. He, he's he's been off for a while. Um, what Robert Guerrero was able to do it was he made it a tough, gritty street fight, and that's how you beat Andre Berto. Um, Andre Berto, of course, have superior superior boxing skill, but the, you know. Fighters have shown a, bru a blueprint to, to beating Andre Berto, and that's by crowding him, putting a lot of pressure on him. And his, you know, and he he goes into these these brawls with these guys instead of trying to box. And I, I don't think he, you know, him boxing would have helped him in this case because the ref allowed so much holding to go on, you know. But you have to give it up to. Andre Berto. Andre Berto should be getting the kind of praise like Gotti got when he was fighting. You know, the only thing is Andre Bor um um Andre Berto just don't have a his um award, you know, to make him, you know, him make him even bigger, but you know, Andre Berto have wars. The he every single fight, no matter what, if Andre Berto is losing or winning, it's gonna be a, be a very entertaining fight. That's guaranteed. That the guy should be much bigger than what he is just on that alone, because he gives entertaining fights. We have a lot of champions out here that's just not doing that, you know. Um, but like I said, Robert Guerrero was was able to crowd him when he was we crowded him like that. Um, Berto was didn't have the dis the uh, the distance he needed to really to set up his punches. Um, to, to uh, really uh, effectively land combinations, and he just took completely took away his hand speed by crowding him like that. You know, um, the um, the two knockdowns was I think was big. I think maybe um, it would could have been a little bit closer if if he wouldn't have got knocked down the second time. I don't, I'm not sure if it was the first knockdown or the second knockdown, but the, uh, one of the knockdowns that Guerrero got, he was actually holding Andre Berto by the back of the head, by the back of the head, holding him and punching him at the same time. I mean, that is blat blatant, just dirty boxing. I mean, I'm not calling Guerrero a dirty fighter. No, I'm not. It's not really his fault when you really look at it because it's up to the the referee is said to put the rules down and say hey this is what's going to happen and this is what's not going to happen then when Berto start fighting rough and um, dirty when Berto start fighting dirty then the ref come in and and you know and say hey you know he you know threatens to take a point away from Berto I mean I think the the, the ref at some points when the, in the, right in the heat of action, he would come in and stop him, or he would um, say, make gestures with his hands or say something, 
and he would throw the, both of the fighters off at certain points of time. I think a, a certain point of time um, where um, um, Guerrero was going in and he, he was kind of hot on um, Andre Berto with punches and the ref said something, he put his hand in between like he was going to stop the fight. And that kind of, you know, Berto kind of stopped, you know. So, you know, even at the end of the fight, um, the referee was just standing back. And while, you know, the bell ringed, I mean, Guerrero was hitting Andre Berto like four or five times after the bell. Where the hell the referee was at? He was, it seemed like he was sitting in the audience watching the fight with everybody else, so. No, you know, they say he's a veteran referee or whatever, you know, but um, he must have had an off night. Maybe it was all that um, turkey and dressing he had, but um, I didn't like his performance. Um, what's next for Andre Berto? I don't know. This is real big setback for him. You know, Andre Berto, I think, is going to end up um, a, a gatekeeper. I think he's going to end up a gatekeeper. Um, a, a, a fighter that you prove yourself against. I just don't see him winning against the top guys because all the top guys is going to do is the way to beat Andre Berto is apply that rugged, rough kind of pressure and he's going to bend and crumble almost every time. He's going to put on his good fights. Andre Berto's going to always have his good fights, but I just don't see him ascending to the top elites or whatever. Um, I really feel like Andre Berto have made decisions in his career that really have has hurt him. You know, I understand about the thing about the the Haiti thing, but what's with the deal with about, about this performance enhancing drug thing? You know, it's, it's decisions like that that Berto makes that has really stunted and hurt his career, and he really should be bigger than what he really is right now. You know, maybe not. You know, um call a pound for pound or anything like that but the guy should be a fan favorite he really should you know and he should be even still be getting um bigger fights you know but hey you know his decisions you know uh, that's my video if you like it keep coming back i will be making more peace oh yeah and uh happy holidays everybody